So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we gotta put mm. the little triangle in there. So that's, yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, okay. So then oh. we square that. Oh, oh my God, there's the, the hippopotamus. Hey, we got it. Yay! aka Desiree and today we are going to be doing some affordable back to school looks I went with more of a natural look today not natural esque look and I did more of a glam darker colors you know purple not your everyday look but you know everybody wants to do their own thing so we went from one end to the other yeah we want to do one extreme to the other extreme and you guys can wear this on the first day of school any day of school picture day so without further ado, go ahead and grab your makeup, grab your drinks, and if you're already in school, go ahead and grab that homework and attempt to do it while you're watching us. And let's get to blended and sipping. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start in with the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist right here. Um, this was $15 from Target, and I'm just gonna spray that in as my primer because I don't have an actual primer today, so. And while she's doing that, um, I already primed because I did my brows off camera. Nobody cares to see that. Um, and I used my ColourPop All Star Primer. It's a matte and blur primer. Absolutely love it. It was ten dollars, um, but at ColourPop you can actually get a their um, setting spray and primer in two because they're both ten dollars. But if you buy them together in like the combo, it's only eighteen dollars. So you can save a little money that way. That's what I always do. And on my brows, as always, ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. Um, it is five fifty for uh, for the the pencil. Not bad. Pretty good price there. And then the ColourPop No Filter Concealer is what I use to carve out my brows. Love that concealer. And it is six fifty. Alright, you guys. And after I've kind of like just sprayed my face and then went in with a damp beauty blender and just patted that in, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Um, this is in the shade. What shade is this? I actually really don't know the shade, but it's white AF. And this is $11.99 for um, from Walmart. So. And I. Uh, fancy over here I say that I'm not um I just have really weird skin so I'm actually using the Maybelline fit me and the matte and poreless foundation but I mix it together along with the Maybelline super stain foundation because this one's a little too moist this one's you know a little too dry for my skin but when I mix them together it works out perfectly gives me the good kind of coverage I'm looking for the fit me is five 98 and then the um, super stay is 998 both of them from Walmart <laughs> Yeah, so after I have already put that foundation all over my face, I'm actually going to go in with the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. So it's a little bit wider of a lighter of a lighter shade than my foundation. So I make sure that like my under eyes pop out as like a brighter, and then I'm going to also put it in the center of my face as well. And this has probably like been one of my favorite drugstore drugstore foundations. I don't know if they actually sell it in the drugstores, but you can find it on the drugstore aisle at Ulta, so. And it was $7. And I'm going in again with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 6. Again, it is $6.50. And you can find this at Ulta or obviously at ColourPop.com. So, it is a little bit lighter than my foundation, but obviously under eyes and nose and you know highlighting those areas all right you guys after i have that blended in i'm actually going to go back in with the pixie glow mist and just kind of spray my beauty blender to add a little bit of extra hydration i'm going to go all over my face with it and now that i have um my concealer all blended in i am going to go in with um, some maybelline shine free loose powder in this shade light 
Um, it is actually $4.94 from Walmart. It's just a real simple uh, setting powder that actually um, is really good. And along with her setting powder, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me um, setting powder in the shade Fair or Claire. 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 <laughs> it says it says Claire. Mm, yes. Claire. I don't really know how to say, but it's, it's in the shade Fair. And it was $5.45 um, at Walmart. to kind of set my concealer in place and now I'm going to go in with my elf contour palette you can get it at Walmart for six bucks and I'm just gonna go in and use it to contour I'm actually going to go in with the Morphe Contour and Highlight Sponge, taking the pointed tip and dipping it into that powder. And I'm going right underneath my eyes to kind of bake, but also to do like a safety guard to catch any of the fallout from the eyeshadow that I'm going to be doing. in with the Mar palette from ColourPop. This was $12. This is one of their nine pan palettes. And I'm going in with this shade right here. And I dropped my ColourPop palette on the floor. So mine kind of got a little bit like not arranged properly and I didn't. Yeah, so whenever they dropped, a few of these like fell out because there's like a magnetic strip in the back of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it's the lightest shade in the palette. It's that kind of warmy toned brown right here and i'm gonna go in with that as my um, transition shade and while she's gonna do that i'm gonna step off camera because i forgot my sponge <laughs> didn't you just have that thing over here oh that one okay okay i was like wait a second you just showed me three sponges I'm back. um i use a do you know the microfiber sponge to um for anyways to clean up my contour because it works really good with powder but and I forgot it of course but now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe blushing babes blush trio and the uh, pop of rose I think it was $12 um, from Morphe or it's $12 at Ulta as well but I'm um, gonna go in with the shade legendary here on the end and Blush. All right, next I'm going to kind of deepen that up just a little bit, but this time I'm going to actually take a bronzer. This is in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. This is by um, Wet n Wild, and I'm going to kind of use that because there's not really another like medium shade matte in this palette. A lot of the other ones are like blues or shimmers, so this will kind of be able to give me like a crease shade. I'm just going to take that on just a Morphe brush. These don't really have names on them, or numbers on them. They were $25 a set, which I don't think is bad because they are Morphe brushes, so. Yes, and I'm gonna go back in with my contour palette, and I use this really light shade up here to kind of clean up my contour, bake, you know, you know, add a little bit of, of shimmer as well, and I use my Juno sponge for that, so. Brush. It's just an elf brush. Uh, what would you want to? Uh, like a flat top kabuki. Yes, flat top kabuki. And I'm going to go in with it. I always forget the name of it. But I just use it to kind <laughs> of. Sorry. But I use it just to kind of blend everything in together. You know, give me that seamless, the seamless look. The. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if that's what you want to call it, yes. That's what I always say. I'm like, if you don't have cheekbones, you can make them valid. Because I don't have cheekbones, but I can definitely fake some cheekbones. Like, okay. All right, I'm gonna take, again, I don't, these are all kind of mixed up in the palette. 
But I'm going to take the only dark matte brown shade that there is, kind of right around this area. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe. This one actually has a number, the 433 brush. And I'm actually going to go in with that and just kind of deepen up the outer corners. Um, and then bring it in. And even I'm, after that, I'm going to go in with a flat top. Morphe brush and kind of smoke out. I won't do eyeliner today on the top, but I will smoke out a fake liner. Because I can't draw on straight eyeliner. I've never been able to. It's not mine. Really? Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, mine's never just perfect, but. I've always wanted like a big as ass. As long wing. as nobody is on top of me, like right mm -hmm. up in my face, they don't do it. So. <laughs> It only matters if it looks good far away. Exactly. I don't like people in my personal space, so that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but I use that, blend everything together, you know, not make my contour look as crazy. And so now I'm going to start on my eyes and I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. It's only $12, uh, I just got it. Lots of, uh, lots of purplies and just some really cool shades. That is such like a you palette. I love With it so purples. much. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go in with this dark color right here first called Sleeper down here in the bottom. And I'm gonna go in with this I really don't know how to how they what they actually call these, but S L Miss Glam. Mm -hmm. That's a really pretty brush. Though. I really love the uh, yeah, it's I really pretty. love these brushes. But it is an S B six eight. Whatever that means, it's still pretty. <laughs> it works really good. I really like it. that done I'm gonna go back in with the lightest matte kind of like warmy tone brown shade in the more palette and I'm taking it back on that fluffier morphe brush that we began out with just to make sure that everything is kind of blended together and there's no harsh lines. All right, once I'm finished with that I'm gonna be taking a Luxie 660 Precision. It says foundation brush. I've never used this brush for foundation. I'm gonna use it just to wipe away the powder underneath the eyes that caught any of that fallout. start on my bronzer now and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease, the same color that we used for the crease shade. That's what I'm going to use is the bronzer shade. And I'm going in with a Real Techniques 400 and um, this is blush brush. Again, I use it for bronzer. I'm just bronzing up the face, doing the forehead, the cheekbones that I don't have just yet, and then the chin area. <laughs> Gotta cover up the seven chins that I own. They're just taking up rent right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm now going to go in with this uh, color right here in the middle, Fan Fiction, and just going to kind of uh, smoke out the edges of this real dark purple I put on, give it a little bit of lightness to it. Oh, and sorry. <laughs> I'm using the <laughs> SL Miss Glam Short Shader. Another really pretty brush. Though. I really love these brushes. All right, I'm going to be taking the... Figure out what I'm using here. A Luxie 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. It looks like this. The, these brushes are perfect for getting right on that nose bronzer. I kind of have a bulbous nose. I need to. Oh, shit. I, <laughs> I went to go talk and I definitely popped myself with some bronzer on the tip of my nose. We'll have to highlight that later. Well, well I'm glad that I'm always with that. Speaking of that side note, you can't see it now. You may can still kind of see it. I was doing, I was trying to make a video the other day from Instagram and I threw, I was throwing stuff at myself to be able to like catch it on camera. Freaking threw that right there, and it came by and cut the ever living out of the book. Can you see that? There's like a cut. Yes. Right there. Yeah, it was bad. Desiree. Oh, yeah, no, nobody ever said I was talented. Oh, or that organized. That was really bad, actually. But no, I now have a cut on my nose from it. Alright, 
I'm gonna be taking the Morphe sponge again and dipping back into that um, translucent powder and baking and carving out those cheekbones, jaw bones, cheekbones, a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna go back in with that same fan fiction color and um, underneath my eye. It's going to obviously be lighter than the bulk of my upper eye, but it's gonna be cute, I promise. That's all that matters is at the end result that it's cute. Honestly, I like it. It's pretty. I'm gonna take in the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. This is like hands down my favorite drugstore blush ever. It is definitely a dupe for the NARS orgasm blush and i'm taking that on just a blush brush that's don't even have a name on it just kind of dipping it in there and then hitting it on the cheekbones and it's kind of got almost like an iridescent sheen to it it's just so pretty i'm gonna go in with this shade right here earth shine um right here in the middle super cute and i'm gonna go in with this it's a morphe brush just a packer brush, I guess. And I always, whenever I'm going in with shimmers, uh, spritz it with a little bit of uh, setting spray before. And I'm just gonna go in on the inner corner portion of the inner, like, third of my eyelid. I'm gonna go in with the Firma 201 brush in that same kind of light matte brown shade that we've been going into. And this is going to start my under eyes. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that under. Any fluffier brush that kind of has more like, so like a flat top will work for this. And I'm just gonna connect the bottom to the top. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the flat top kind of a, um, I used it to smoke out my eyeliner earlier um, with the darkest shade. So I'm gonna go back in with the darkest shade right here in the palette, the matte color. And I'm gonna use that um, to kind of deepen uh, the under eye. You ever like looked at the faces sometimes? That, like the yeah, I thought, <laughs> yeah, I caught myself earlier. Um, and now I'm going in with this bottom here, uh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Sandman. And I'm also going on the inner third just to kind of. Um, because that color in the middle, it looks really light in the palette, but it, it's more of an iridescent-y, like, light purple. Um, really love it, but I am going to go in with a little bit of Mr. Sandman just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. I like that name. It's going to make me start singing, though. Mr. Sandman. Won't you bring me a drink? Whenever you work in an Italian restaurant, that's all they play all day long. Yes, valid. Yeah. Valid. Yeah. <laughs> valid. You learn a lot of Mr. So Sandman. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> what? <laughs> Badly. Can we, can we, can I, um, what's it called? Can we, uh, when people claim certain words, what's it called? Like, like a catch. trademark catchphrase? Tra tra yes. yes, we have to, we need trademark to that catchphrase. Valid. 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 <laughs> valid. Valid. I feel like we said that way too. Valid. Valid. We do say it a lot. I can went to the guy not today. Valid. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> I feel like it works for everything, though. It does. And if you guys aren't saying valid, what are you doing? All right. Um, now I'm going to go in with this super dark chiclet purple. Um, but and go on the other, you know, kind of like outer little portion, middle to outer portion of my lid. Every time people say it like chiclet, I think like the chicken cutlets. <laughs> Do you know like the ones that you wrap and it's like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I call them chicken cutlets. That's what you call them, right? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I they have an actual called. name, but I don't know. Okay. Because this girl at work the other day was telling me that, and I told her, and she's like, uh uh. And I was like, uh -uh. Well, I think of like the, like the candy or the gum or something, chiclet, something like that. Is it chiclet gum? It's a gum or a candy, like an older, which I'm not age older maybe, but anyways. I'm going to have to go look that up because I've never heard of that. I'm actually very intrigued now to learn about it though. Well, it is. 
All right, you guys, I'm gonna take off this baking powder. I'm just using a Flower Beauty. Again, it said it was for blush. I don't use it for blush. I use it to kind of wipe away all this powder that I baked. One day I actually sprayed my face, like completely, and was fanning it and then realized that I still have powder <laughs> on. And I mean caked on powder too. I think I had to go wash off my face and redo it because it wasn't like I couldn't blend it after that. It's awful. Well, um, imagine it was very cakey. It was. It was awful. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking the two ColourPop eyeliners that I have here. One of them is in Mr. Bing. And whenever I saw this, I thought about Sex in the City, but I think his name was Mr. Big. What I man? think so, yes, and I think of Chandler from Friends because his last name is Bing. I've never seen Friends. Oh my god! I have it. I, it's on my. It's on my like bucket list. Is it actually going off Netflix? It's going to, so you've got to watch it. It's on. I think it's on Hulu too. Maybe I don't know, but watch it. It's on Netflix. You're missing out. But anyway, I bought this mainly because it's brown, and I like to do neutral eyes a lot. But I really did. I thought this was Sex in the City. No, that's and it's not. Probably upset. The next one is called Honey Dude. I guess it's like a play on Honey Do. Um, one of these is a deep brown. The other one is pretty light. So what I'm gonna do is the deeper one, the Mr. Bean color, looks like this right here by ColourPop. I'm gonna use that more so on the outer um, waterline. And then I'm gonna take the color Honey Do, which is the lighter one, and I'm gonna use that on the inner corner so it brightens up. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx. It's like a little pencil. Um, I use this to do my bottom waterline, and it cost. Uh, you can buy just one for seven thirteen from Walmart, but I always buy like a two pack, which lasts me forever. Uh, but like it's like ten bucks, I think like roughly ten dollars for a two pack so i mean you're saving a bunch of money so i forgot to say how much my stuff was dad gum it we are bad peekers <laughs> um i have said how much and all of mine is i'll leave mine in the it comments it will all yes it will all be in the description Such an awkward thing to do on camera to put a pencil in your eyeball. Oh, uh, very true. Where's the lid? Oh, there it is. All right. And now I'm going to take the other color that was the honey dude that I lost. I'm going to go in the inner corners with that. How much was it? Five fifty. Also, the other one was five fifty as well. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner in black and not getting fancy today, not doing the wing, but I am going to throw on some liquid eyeliner on the top. Alright, now that that is done and we have brightened up those inner corners a little bit, I'm going to be taking the Setting Spray by Morphe. My favorite setting spray in the entire universe. You can get it on morphe.com or you can also get it in Ulta's. It used to be $15 and it went up a dollar on the price. Not really for sure why, but now it's $16. Because people love it, duh. I guess so. <laughs> Don't you just love that? Or like, for example, with us having like a rural area, like you found like a product, it said like Walmart or Walgreens or CVS, and then you need to refill that product and you can't because ain't nobody got it around here. Yes. And we live like really close to like two different areas that both have Walmarts. And neither one of them know how to stock their stuff. We're not hating on Walmart, but kind of hating on Walmart a little bit. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray before I do mascara and highlighter. Um, mainly because I don't think my mascara is waterproof and I'm just not trying to, to run all this hard work. I used to only wear waterproof mascara. I need to really get back in that groove of things. Oh, well, some of mine is, some of mine isn't. And like, but I don't go out of my way to buy waterproof. waterproof. 
but I feel like the formula is different though. Have you ever noticed that? It's a lot like, harder to get off. And yeah. A like application process, it is a little bit clumpier, like trying to get on. That's why I kind of got away from it there for a little bit. But I, don't, I just thought I was crazy though. No. And well, and that's, you know, that's the whole, which I usually use some kind of like, uh, what is it? The like liquid that's got like the oil, the, uh, like a um, like a baby oil kind of kind of or like but a like cleansing oil. Clean, yeah, it's like a oil water or something or another, and it's got a name. Anyways, I usually use it when it comes to taking off waterproof mascara. I'm not that fancy, you know what that name was. All right. I'm going in with the highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precis Pre Pre Precious Petals, <laughs> and I'm actually using the same highlighter, so yeah. it's convenient that we're both. Uh, and it's four fifty eight at the local Walmart. I also have a ColourPop one that I'm going to use over it if you want to use it too. It's amazing. Okay. It's actually a really pretty highlighter for five bucks. Wet n Wild has to be probably like one of the up there brands whenever it comes to like just strictly drugstore. Yes. Them and Elf. Elf kills it all the time. Elf has some really good brushes, y'all. If you're looking to like kind of just start off with, if you don't want to order things online. Yes, I will say that before I got the bulk of my brushes, um, a lot of everything I used was um, e.l.f. Like I still use this one. It's an e.l.f. brush. It's like three bucks at Walmart. Um, or it was when I bought it. Um, but uh, which now, you know, I've got a lot of Morphe. I've got a lot that I get from Ipsy. But e.l.f. is a really good I mean, it's pretty decent for how much you pay for it. It does a really good job, and you can find it at Walmart. Also, like, if y'all are looking for, like, subscriptions, Ipsy is a really good one to get. Um, they also have the Glam Bag Plus version, um, like, BoxyCharm. This actually came out of a BoxyCharm box, and this alone is, like, $20. I think you pay, like, $21 for the BoxyCharm, and there was, like, four other items in the box. It was $15. Well, it said 20 and 15. It said 20 at Target and 15 at Pixie. Oh. So, I don't know. I don't, like, ever order off actual websites. Unless it's, like, ColourPop or, like, Morphe. But, like, as far as, like, I don't go order off Elf.com. And I don't go order off of, Valid. you know, WetNWild.com. But, if you go to Pixie, you can get it for $5 cheaper. If you go to Target, it's 20 I don't understand that concept, but whatever. They don't hate me. That's what I tell people at work all the time. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going in uh, with the Color Pop Volumi BFF Volumizing Mascara Black. I don't, I don't, unless it's like purple or gold or white or whatever, like for eyeliner and mascara, it's always just black for me. I don't use brown. Just not a well, this is the first time I'm actually going to use brown. I'm not oh. going to, and I decided to do it on camera because since I went with more of like the natural look, I've been wanting to try brown mascara for a while. And ColourPop came out with like all these different colors. Like, I'd love yes. to try colored mascara, yes. I just don't know what I would try it with. If that, like, I'm so used to having like Coming to a video near you soon. Well, whatever, Anyways. trying all the ColourPop mascaras. Yeah, or doing a look with some crazy ColourPop, you know. I feel like like ColourPop just killed it though. Like everybody else is like, okay, we got a black and then a blacker mascara and then a brown and then a black brown. And they're like, no, we gonna do coral, red, yes. blue, well, teal, peach. Come into a video soon. Soon, yeah. But the ColourPop mascara is eight bucks, by the way. Which um, I think you can. I know you can get it on ColourPop, obviously. I think you can get it on Ulta as. well. For sure. I know you can do like a duo sometimes where they do like the mascara and the yeah. eyeliner yeah. with it. So, I think that's pretty neat. Hey, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll have to check into that for you. We'll link it down below if you can. We'll like put something in there that says that. I'm going to go in with the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This came from Ulta. This stuff was $2.99. And Bretman Rock is the one that put me on this because he went to an Ulta um, where he lived and he literally got like every single one of them in the thing and I was like oh my goodness are they that good wow because I have untamable curly brows so anything that wants to <laughs> them suckers down for me I'm all for it all right next I'm gonna go in with the shade flex Torini by ColourPop this is one of their super shock highlighters um 
It was, I think it was $5 off ColourPop, but I'm gonna use that in the inner corner and then underneath the brow, and then I may even top off my actual highlighter with it. I'm just using a pointed, um, like little pencil brush from Morphe. And I'm actually gonna go in with that same that she's using to do the corner, inside corner of my eye and uh, my brow bone. Because the It's My Pleasure palette just doesn't um, have that typical like light color that you can use to highlight your brow bone in the inner corner of your eye. This is kind of same with like the more palette. It doesn't have that like yeah. inner corner one. Which that's about the only thing that that palette doesn't have for me. For someone who loves purple, like, it's great. You can, like, pretty much do, minus the highlighting shades, you can pretty much do whatever you want to with it. Do what you want, what you want, what your palette. Your shirt that's on the Lady Gaga. Yes. She goes, do what you want, what you want. <laughs> but her body went on a palette, yeah. I really like that song. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, say it. See, you just act like you knew what I was talking about there for a second. Just to make me feel Well, better. I did, but I had a... It, my brain was a little slow. Oh, my brain stays slow, so... All right, I'm just blending some powder to kind of match the um, neck to the face. This is just the translucent shade, or the fair shade from Maybelline. Maybelline. All right, since I'm finished with that, I'm going to go in with the BFF Mascara from ColourPop. This is from the um, California California Love Collection, I think it's been. It's called Brownie Points, and this will be the first brown mascara that I've ever used. But, I, like I said, I wanted to go a little bit more on the natural side. So, brown mascara felt natural to me in the moment that I was on ColourPop and blacked out and bought everything. <laughs> Valid. There I go again. Can't help it. But valid. <laughs> We're gonna make that another one of the. No, we can't do that on this video. What? Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna do that on this one. Remember, you gotta blend and sip, sip. Blend and sip. Blend and sip, sip. Those are coming on t shirts soon. Yes. Um. I'm pretty much done with my face. I'm shocked. Did you set it? Yeah, before I did my mascara, because I oh. don't want my mascara all over my face. I was set my ish like six times for that. So now I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper. And it is, how much? Oh, seven bucks. Um, which honestly, I think when I bought it, it was only six fifty. dollars um, They always have sales on ColourPop. Yeah, so it was like six fifty when I bought it, and you can buy it on ColourPop, obviously, as well as Ulta. And honestly, I do think I bought mine from Ulta. But love this shade. It's just kind of a neutrally brown that you can wear with pretty much anything. Like, Ulta has been really stepping it up with, like, adding, like, different brands and stuff to their yes. thing. Yes. Like, ColourPop, Juvia's Place is there, Morphe's in a lot of Ulta's now. Yeah, they're adding some like, not just like drugstore, drugstore, but mm -hmm. not like your high-end brands. Right. They're adding those in-betweens that are all like usually really legit. Like Beauty Bakeries. I wonder if we wanna try some stuff from Beauty Bakery. I never have, but their packaging I know. is so cute. I actually want to step off camera real quick to figure out where in the mother living did I put my makeup pop set. I really don't know where I put it now. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't a very long off camera moment, was it? They were right in front of her. 110%. What in the world is going on here? Alright, so I'm just going to wipe off my lovely looking foundation lips. This could be a look all on its own though. Foundation lips for the win. Uh -huh. I actually used to wear colors that like it wasn't foundation lips, but it definitely looked like I was dead. Like oh, it yeah. matched my foundation. I was like, I look fire, 
and you can't tell me otherwise. And if people did, I was like, they lying. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been there, done that. I think everybody goes to that stage at least once in their life. And then I went through the uh, red lip phase that I wanted red lips all the time. Um, I honestly have never done that. You never went through the red lip phase? No, but we wore red lipstick for cheerleading, so mm -hmm. competition. And then if you didn't like stick your finger in like your little like a like a yep, you get in red all uh, over uh -huh. your teeth. And some people wouldn't tell you that it was on your teeth. They let you go like, yeah, that looks good. And I'm like, they don't make red lipstick like they used to. Mm -hmm. I used to love the one that you got from CoverGirl. It was like the two-piece set. It was like the red lipstick and like the moisturizing. Yes. Uh, CoverGirl Outlast, maybe that's what it's called. I think so. I think that so. That was like literally heaven. All right. I'm going to take the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. And I'm going to just line my lips slightly. I don't mind. I probably should line my lips. I just haven't gotten into that yet. We'll see. I don't really overline it. I just kind of like constant. I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't. I just feel like I could. It would. I don't know. I just feel like it would help if I did. But I don't. So I need to work on that. How to line your lips 101. Yeah. Maybe we should learn how to line our lips first. Because, I, like I said, I just throw some lip liner on there. We just go. There are some people that would like. Like, have you ever watched Huda do her lips? Yeah. She freaking, like, contours that crap. And I'm like, what? what? I'm really sorry, but y'all will not see me contouring my lips. I mean, I'm right kind of right with you. I don't contour my lips. Like, I actually like a little. I mean, like, I will overline mine slightly just to make them look better but I, I'm not gonna like contour them all right I'm taking the morphe shade <laughs> virgin <laughs> and I'm gonna be putting that on my lips virgin. this is like the in touch for the that's the song you're talking about right yeah Madonna yeah the only reason I kind of know that song is because off the of pitch perfect uh, on the riff hall yeah. She's like, like a virgin, being touched. Uh, we're gonna get monetized. It's a movie here. Yep. Not like we're already monetized, you know. We tried to make this video PG. We really did. I think we've done a pretty darn good job of we it. We have. If you want to see a non PG video. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not we're not saints. Sorry to break it to you. And now I'm just sitting here because for the, not for the first time, but. All that's first time. I'm done a lot. Sometimes I just spend a little too much time. Now, if I would have done, if we would have done our eyebrows on camera at the same time, I'd probably still be, keep it going. Because I, I, uh, take just a little bit too long on my eyebrows. All right, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to take the, I'm using like six different products on my lips here. I'm going to take in the shade 550 Baddest Beige in the Maybelline Color Sensationals. And I'm going to put that right on the center of the lips. Just so a little bit of that lattice part is there. Then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe Setting Spray and give myself a big set. Because I... Are you okay? <laughs> Is it okay to inhale that stuff? I hope so. Because I just, I'm telling you, I just inhaled a bunch. That was, that was a lot. It was. Mm. I think we're, okay, yeah, I'm going to finish that in and then I think that we'll be done. Yeah, I didn't study any of those processes like I should have. Yeah, if we forgot any, like, products to, like, talk about them or talk about their prices we will list that in the description below i promise um we're not perfect please don't expect us to be nobody's perfect <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish they would reboot that show yeah like that would be goals all right so i think we're done yes so this is our finished looks. Uh, obviously, she did more natural, and I did more glam. You know, back to school, love some glam. 
but yeah, not so much from school, but <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Like you do you, if you want to go to school with some bold purple eyes, do it. Or if you want to go for a more natural look, both of these looks really weren't like minimal though, but yeah. maybe we should try to do a minimal one more time. Cause I know I never made it just going a full face. I, no, but like first day back to school, everybody wants to make an impression. True. If you want, to, I mean, there's nothing wrong We're with going days. to, yeah, picture day. Picture day. So these are just our back to school looks. So thank you guys for tuning in and spending some time with us. Yes. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.